Now, with this particular review, I want to take a look in my workspace. And in this case, maybe there's some specification that I need to compare this, this U joint against. So um, you can see here, I've got this length. This is a, a simple example, obviously, but I've got a, a length dimension here that I want to verify against uh, or my 3D model against. So again, I can use Colab's 3D navigation or, and, and 3D measurement tools to be able to determine whether or not that is that particular measurement has been met. So I can measure distances between faces. In this case, I'll just measure from the top to the bottom. You can see that, oh, I've got, uh, I've got something a little bit different. I had 145 in that previous measurement and that something needs to change here. So this is where I would use Colab's feedback system. I could say, well, this particular face needs to change. And by being able to place the pin directly on, on that piece of geometry, so I'd say um, face needs to move 1.5 inches, and I can actually assign that directly to Shaheen from the from the uh, 3D interface itself. So as soon as I press save, Shaheen will get a notification saying that an issue has been created. But that's not it. It's not just these cards. I can actually add a lot more information to this particular piece of feedback. So if I wanted to add screenshots, I can use my camera button here, and you can see what it'll do is it'll it'll take an image of that that uh, model at that orientation for documentation down the road. Um, I can change status options, priority options. I can assign a due date if necessary. Um, I've already assigned it to Shaheen, so I can, uh, he should, he'll be able to see that there is some piece of feedback attached to that. And if there is some discussion that, that we want to have, we can actually speak to each other in real time uh, on, the, on the issue itself. The point is, is we are tracking this issue, the, the, the thing that needs to change with respect to the model directly on the model itself. So that way down the road, if we ever wanna come back to this comment or feedback, we're actually gonna be brought back to the model as well. So that way we can see what it is that we're working on. And this is a bit now somewhat decoupled from the CAD repository or PDM repository. This is now just the conversation about this design data. We maintain a link to the CAD um, in, in, in a way that we can we know which versions of the CAD this originated from, so that way down the road we provide that traceability. But this is this is our means of creating a venue for conversations directly on the model itself, as opposed to email or PowerPoint or other types of uh, of medium for communication. 